it will devastate your entire aquarium. And if you're keeping aquariums, at some point you will definitely have to deal with it. It is not preventable. I don't care what nobody says. Everybody gets it. But it is treatable. Serious. This is what I know and what I plan on doing about the ick in my aquarium. All right, by no means am I expert on fish diseases and parasites, but I've been dealing with aquariums for over 20 years. And in that time, I've had my Marvel style, epic toe to toe, mano a mano, hand to hand combat style fights with, with it, right? And I and I, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you, if you add up the total, I've lost more than I have um, won the battle of the ick. But a lot of that, a lot of those losses were due to me not understanding what ick is. And that's what today's video is about. What is it? Where it come from? How do I get rid of it? What's the deal with the icky, 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 icky? Okay, so fishy icky is sticky. And you know what, buddy? It ain't picky. So trying to get it out of multiple tanks is going to be an itty bitty teeny weeny tricky. I have ick in one of my aquariums, but it's actually a bigger deal than just the one aquarium. Why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because while I have multiple aquariums, I only have a finite amount of nets. I only have a finite amount of sponges and, and cleaning stuff, and I only have two hands and all. So the chances of me taking that ick from one tank to the next tank is pretty high. And while these are only 15 gallons and ick medication isn't that expensive for a 15 gallon tank when you multiply it by all these tanks it could get costly a lot of people got a lot of different ways they deal with it um most people and what i've done in the past is done an all natural method which i'm not necessarily gonna go into that right now i will make another video about the all natural method um later but um i'm gonna try this ick x I've used it in the past with mixed results. Ick is, ick is funny. I, I, I will never tell somebody that 100% they're going to fix the ick because it's 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 got multiple facets to it. And sometimes it's just not in the cards for you to win it. But knowing what it is and its life cycles because it has multiple cycles to ick and that's what makes it so difficult. It's not just a white spot on your fish. There's more to it, and that's where the problem lies, is not knowing that there's other things going on where the ick is still there, you just don't know about it. So I'm using this ick X, right? I'm not gonna go into how I use it because the instructions are on the back, but you have to be ready to use or do multiple rounds of this. Listen, what's ick? Let's get it, let's just get that out the way. Ick is a parasite, it's not a sickness. It's not like the measles or the mumps. It's not the chicken pops, it's a parasite, like a living organism that feeds off of another li living organism. And what happens is, is when you see that white spot on that fish, it's a parasite getting into the soft bits of the fish, it's getting all up into the gills, all everywhere. It can. Yes, even the giblets is getting all up in its itty bitty deep, its crevices and stuff. So it's, it's everywhere and it's making the fish, this is what kills the fish, um, it's making the fish irritable. It doesn't want to eat. It's it's kind of it's losing its will to live. It's just just imagine getting just bombarded with something all over your skin, and it's just too much for the fish to handle, and it it eventually dies. At some point, you might not even mess with the it. You might leave it alone and hope it goes away by itself, and you will see the white spots disappear, and you think to yourself. It's gone. That ain't no big deal. It, whatever. But what's actually happening is entering its second phase of its life cycle, which is turning into a, it falls off and it goes into the, um, the, the gravel. It goes into the, it goes all over your tank. It's the little, and, you, and it'll grow this, um, hard shell. Now this hard shell, guess what this hard shell is, um, resistant against everything. That means I could pour all the all of this I want in there, and it's not gonna kill the ick that is on the rocks underneath this protective shell. 
Now at this point, it ain't causing no issues, it ain't causing no problems. But that one shell that came off of that one white spot will at some point hatch. And you're gonna have multiple little icky microorganisms swimming throughout your water that you cannot see. And the first thing they're gonna do is look for a living fish to attach to and turn into the white ick again. So it's just a lifestyle. Now, so when you use a product like this, make sure you get a lot of it because the battle may not be over at the first round. You may have to go a couple rounds at this. At the beginning of this video, I said you will get ick. To be honest with you, I believe and a lot of other people believe that ick is almost, how do I put this where it doesn't sound ridiculous? Ick is always amongst us. In most tanks, it, it, it may be dormant in that hard shell that I was talking about, but it's there. You might go to a pet store, get yourself a fish, put it in quarantine for a week or two weeks, look at it, be like, good. Put it in your tank and then now you got ick. That's because ick is brought on really when the fish goes through, um, well, not necessarily the fish, but when there's temperature changes, sometimes that'll cause the ick to release its spores and, and latch onto your fish. Um, your fish does have an immune system to fight off, but if it is weakened, the immune system's weakened due to poor diet, poor water quality, the fish is just unhappy and just stressed out um the immune system is compromised allowing those it little it individual ick spores that are in your water column to go ahead and latch on to it so while you may have an aquarium that is established you might have done something wrong something happened and now your fish's immune system is compromised and that ick is allowed to take it's always been there it's always been there, but situation allowed it to rear its ugly head. Really, the, look, I'm, this is how I got it. You want to know how I got the ick? This is how I got the ick, and this is how most people get the icky icky. They, 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 they get compulsive, like a lot of us fish people do. I do. I put these tanks together kind of quickly. I added the fish in from multiple places kind of quickly. I did not quarantine. So does that make me a terrible fish keeper? Does that make you a terrible fish? No, because we all do it and we're all good fish keepers. We just, you know, practices. We're hypocrites. We're lazy. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, we didn't do it. But that's okay. Because even if we did do it, like I said, the life cycle makes this parasite tricky. So you could quarantine your fish and still get it. You will bring down the chances by quarantining your fish but don't beat yourself up over it. I, I'm not gonna recommend a brand. I just have this brand because the place, I was going to a pet store, they were going out of business and they were selling this for 50% off if you gave them cash. <laughs> That's why I have this. I mean, there's other products and they're all pretty much good. You know, they're all pretty much, you just gotta follow directions. One of the directions that I do not want you to slide on is the um, carbon. If you're using carbon, the charcoal, whatever, in your thing, you have to take it out because that stuff is really good at removing this from the water so you'll just be wasting your money um, by adding this to your tank, having the charcoal remove it before it gets to do its job. You have a quarantine tank, yeah, go ahead, put your fish in a quarantine tank before you bring it home, if you do. If you don't have a quarantine tank and you have ick on one fish, remember, it's a complex parasite, it's got multiple life stages, so taking out that one fish from your aquarium and putting it in a quarantine tank to heal it up doesn't necessarily mean that your other fish are okay. In fact, I would say they're not okay. You got to do the whole tank. You got to do the whole tank to be sure that you've cured it. Then you have to monitor after it's gone. Cause remember, once the, uh, the white spots disappear, that doesn't mean that it's dead necessarily. It could mean that you killed it, could. Or there's a 50% chance that you it means that the, the, the ick has released on its own to become that little hard-coated shell just waiting to um, gestate and shoot out more ick spores. So get ready for round two, three, possibly four, okay? Get ready to do water changes because it, once you manage to 
get the ink off of the fish or it gets it or it, it falls off by itself and it turns into that hard candy shell there's no nece there's not a necessarily time limit this this you can read up on it and they give you some time limits over how long that little shell um will burst but depending on temperature and water conditions it could just stay dormant in that hard shell for a longer period than most people would think but there's a good chance that uh, two weeks later a month later it can go ahead and gestate and burst it turns into the and then it busts out like the little hand monster and then comes suck on their face but not on their face it's on the gills and on the 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 um nitty gritties i'm hoping you liking what you're seeing okay if you do please hit the sub button Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I put out some new content. The like, it's a small gesture on your part, but it does tremendous things for my channel. It lets the algorithm know that this video is worth a damn. Comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know how you do how you do your thing against it. Um, let me know if you have any other things you want me to do a video. Let me know if you like my my gear. Let me know if you like that. Because pretty soon it's going to be available for purchase. And if you know any other fish geeks out there that might find this um, video helpful or interesting, share it out. Send them a little quick link. Think this is share. Punk. Hey, hey, look at this dude. There's something wrong with him. He ain't right in the head. He has no business having a channel. But he's got one anyway. Watch the video and then tell him how much he sucks. Hey, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just share. If you would like to support the channel, there's different ways you can do that. It all helps me um, continue to make this content for you. One way is by a super thanks, which is right there on the little, right down there is a little money sign and you can hit it and it says thank you and it says, give me a little couple dollars to help, you know, with um, ink medicine. <laughs> but the best way, in my opinion, would be to become a channel member. Um, I care deeply for my channel members. I feel like my channel members um, are set apart and I do try to cater to them as much as possible with content of stuff that, you know, that I, I wouldn't normally put on public viewing um, content I would do on my channel members. If you want to have a really good time though, come check out my lives. Um, it's on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and Wednesday night 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but you got to hit the subscribe notification bell to know when I'm going live so you can show up there and wild out with me. We talk about fish when I can. Most of the time, I'm talking about something really, really ridiculous and fun and ridiculous with a sprinkle of fish. Thank you in advance. <laughs> Dun 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 d